have a really fun moving card for you today. I am using the Berry Burst and check this out. I don't know if you can really pick this up on the camera, but can you see the butterfly fluttering? Oh my gosh, it depends on which angle you're at, but these slats in this um, bundle make the butterfly look like it's flying. So let's take a look at this. I've got a little card, so that was my little pocket. My heart flutters when you're around. Isn't that cute? And let me show you. The inside, there's a place for you to write. This is the bundle that I used. This is called You Move Me. And then we've got the Move Me Thinlets. And we have this beautiful butterfly and the hummingbird and some flowers and insides of flowers and leaves and then a little half circle that you can actually use to cut out um, the place for your ribbon pull to be. Super, super fun little bundle. Let me show you how easy this is to make. You're gonna love it. So here's the cardstock we're going to use. We've got a scrap of Whisper White. This is the little pocket card. And this is six by three and three quarters and I've just scored it at three inches to fold in half. This is the inside layer of our card that's four by five and a quarter. The front is also four by five and a quarter and this is the new Berry Burst, love it. And our card base, which is just five and a half by eight and a half, standard size card. So I'm going to get our card base ready to roll here. And this is the front and then we've got our little insert card. So I wanna get that ready. All right. So in this stamp set, you're going to find the hummingbird and the butterfly look like this. They're a series of lines and that's what makes um, the image look like it's fluttering or flying or whatever you wanna call it. So you notice there's a wide butterfly and a narrow butterfly. The um, wide butterfly is the one that I am going to stamp in elegant eggplant, so the darker of our two purple colors. And I'm going to stamp this low on my little card insert. Okay, and isn't it funny looking? It's just kind of weird. Oh, and please excuse my fingers. I've been stamping and I am a mess. <laughs> As usual, you guys know that, right? Now I'm gonna bring in a lighter purple, and it works really good if you do two complementary colors. And when you bring in the narrower butterfly, you want that butterfly to line up with the other one. So what I'm gonna look at is the head and the tail of my butterfly. I'm gonna line those two up, and I'm gonna stamp this right over top of the wide butterfly. There we go. And it just looks kind of bizarre, doesn't it? It's just kind of weird looking. That's the way it's supposed to look. Okay, let's keep going here. I've got my words all mounted on one stamp. I know that they're straight, so that makes it easy if I'm gonna make multiple cards. There we go, and I use the um, Berry Burst ink for that one. And as long as we're working with this little card insert here, I'm going to just take a piece of the Berry Burst ribbon and I'm gonna staple this to only the front of my card. Don't staple it like this because then your card won't open. I almost did that yesterday. I know you guys probably find that shocking. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> You're all laughing going, yeah, that sounds like Kelly. I'm just gonna grab a stapler here and staple this ribbon onto my card front. There we go. All right, we are done with this part, so I'm just gonna set it aside. Oh, did you did you see this? This ribbon matches. This is the finely woven Berry Burst ribbon, and we have this in all of our new ink colors. Love this ribbon, it is gorgeous. Bam. Okay, so our other layer that's four by five and a quarter, this is the layer that we are going to 
die cut the slatted image out of. So I'm going to place this right here on my card front down in the lower left corner. I'm gonna run this through the big shot and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now we have this all die cut. I am going to bring in my big shot die brush and get all these little pieces out. There we go. Okay, and once we have these all out of there, we can start stamping. So I'm going to stamp this big butterfly with Berry Burst ink. right on the front of my card right here. And then I've got the solid butterfly that I'm also gonna stamp in the berry burst. And I'm just gonna stamp this little butterfly kind of going down the edge here. Isn't that cute? Then with our white scrap, we need to do our high there. And I'm using Elegant Eggplant and I'm gonna stamp the high and the there, all of these stamps come in this set. Then I've also got the butterfly. Now I'm gonna do something different with the butterfly. I'm gonna stamp it with Wisteria Wonder. And that was the solid butterfly. And here is a detailed butterfly that I'm gonna stamp in Elegant Eggplant. There we go. Punch this out with a one and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm going to pop this on a dimensional and put it right on the front of my card right here. And that was just that little extra element that I needed over here on the side. And as long as we're doing this, I'm going to punch just a, you know, a little bit less. It's probably about a quarter of the punch. I'm centering it on my slotted framelit or slotted area or whatever you want to call that. And now we need to get ready to put our little card insert into our card. So we're gonna take our card insert and we're going on the back of our front layer. And now I'm going to use some of the foam adhesive strips. These actually come in a really long strips and I just cut them because this is the size that I need and this is one of the projects that some of my stamp clubs are making this month. So I know that I'm going to need a lot of them this, whoops, that's crooked, a lot of them the same size. And this is going to help guide my little card insert so that it goes in and out of my card pocket without any difficulty. And I'm just going to pop one piece down here, and this doesn't have to be the whole length of the bottom. It just needs to be kind of like a stopper, I guess, is a good way to put it. I'm gonna put this back on here because if I make another one of these, I can use that for the bottom piece too. And now we're gonna take some dimensionals and we're gonna use them to fill in this area because we don't want that side of that card flopping around, right? your fingernail in the middle to bend those edges up and that'll help you get the backing off. Do you guys flick these all over at your house and then find them randomly everywhere? <laughs> I do. They oftentimes stick to my shoes. <laughs> I'll find them in the kitchen, in the living room. It's kind of funny. Okay, now we're going to bring this down and mount it onto our card front. There we go. Ah, it's coming together. And last but not least, we need to do a little bit of work here. And again, I've got my Wisteria Wonder and I'm just gonna stamp a little butterfly in the corner and Elegant Eggplant for the detailed layer.
And this is, goes inside my card. Okay, so we only have one more thing to do. And if you know me well, you know that we have to stamp up our envelope and make it super cute to go with our card. And that will do the trick. There we go, stampers. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I can't hardly wait to send these out. So, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and you can order all of these projects on my blog. I appreciate all orders and I will send you a thank you card. So you can hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. Don't forget to click down here in the right bottom corner. You will find the subscribe button for my YouTube videos and head over to my blog in the right hand column. There's a subscribe there so you don't miss anything. I wish you a wonderful weekend. I know here in Wisconsin we're supposed to have beautiful weather and I'm so looking forward to it. Add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.